From my understanding, I was on my way to work really early in the morning and was rear-ended on Highway 20. That was about 6.38, if I recall specifically, I noticed my phone rang. Uh, and it was Noah giving me a call, so I answered the phone. And uh, I could tell his voice was a little shaken. Uh, something wasn't quite right. Uh, and he just said, hey LT, this is Noah, I just wanted to give you a call. Let you know I was just involved in a, a little wreck here on Highway 20. And I got out to check on them. And while I was doing that, another truck um, hit their car, which hit me. And that's when I got injured. 10 or 15 minutes later, loaded up to head to work. Uh, and then I pulled out on Highway 20 and I met a Walton County Medic Ambulance responding towards Fort Walton Beach Hospital. And immediately I said, Something, something's off, something's not adding up. Because I, I just talked to him between Walton County Fire Rescue, Okaloosa Med Flight, us. Pretty close knit and small community with our, our first responders. So we were able to put together pretty quickly that something uh, secondary that had occurred and that Noah was injured uh, severely. My left tibia fibula was broken. Uh, my right ankle, I believe, was an open fracture and then a head injury. Is he going to survive? That was our, our, our concern to begin with. The department, within just probably 20, 30 minutes, had made arrangements to have our entire crew relieved that day. And we were all off work and on the way over to Fort Walton Beach Medical Center within the hour. I uh, was in the ER room there with, with Noah. And within the next hour or two, um, we had dozens and dozens of local firefighters and EMTs, paramedics gathered out front of Fort Walton Beach Medical Center. Got flown to Fort Walton and then spent a little over two weeks there, I believe. Then I got transported by South Walton here all the way to Atlanta to Shepherd Center, where I began rehab there and still recovering from all the injuries. I remember the morning we, we, we took him up to Shepherd's, uh, made for a long day, but it was, it was, a, it was a great day. Um, there was no way that that ambulance was going to head up to Shepherd Center without some of his crew, without me uh, being in the back of that ambulance with him to make sure that he was taken care of. He was into everything. He was just he was grabbing at this, pulling at that, pulling, pulling the blood pressure cuff off, just, just grabbing and touching at everything. Uh, but good problems to have. This happened, I believe, November 29th, and my first memory was Christmas Eve, almost a month. My mom actually, she was there in the hospital with me and she was able to tell me what happened. And uh, I was supposed to work the next day for one of my good friends and I, I told her, like, I know I'm hurt, but you know, I gotta be at station four by eight. So we should probably like get going. To begin with, I had to learn how to walk again. I never thought of it, how hard it is, but that's a pretty hard thing to accomplish because I lost over 50 pounds. I had to get back up to the firefighter level of fitness. I didn't want to not be at that level and get a call where I, I need to be at that level and not be able to perform to the best of my abilities. <laughs> 364 days after his injury, he met all requirements signed off by his doctor, met all the requirements here from, from the fire department, and was uh, cleared to return to full duty. One day short of a year of that injury, and that, uh, that's absolutely a miracle. The power of a community in prayer rallying around him and his family, it worked. We got our guy back on duty, back on the truck. I don't know, I have any limitations. I've accomplished all my goals and uh, back to where I want to be. He's an absolute inspiration to anyone who is facing any sort of adversity. Uh, you look at what he's been through, what he overcame, um, and it, you just can't help but be uh, motivated to be inspired. So for, for me, the lieutenant on his crew uh, from the South Walton Fire District, thank you to each and every one of you who, who thought about Noah, who supported him, who helped him and his family along this journey in any way possible. But having the support around here made it way more motivating to come back. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this career. I don't know what I would be. Just being back here with my crew, back in the family, uh, is right where I need to be. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that supported me and prayed for me, my friends and family, everyone who works here, everyone that worked on me. I'm still here and it's an absolute blessing. Thank you very much.